Hello everyone, welcome to Wrestling with Evil. My name is Luke, um, and today I have another tier list with you, uh, for you. Um, this is the only channel that does Resident Evil playthroughs, does tier lists sometimes, talks about all sorts of stuff, um, plays through uh, Resident Evil, um, speedruns Resident Evil games, uh, plays through multiple types of games like Doom. I'm also playing through uh, Dead Space currently, and uh, uh, on Tuesday I play through The Binding of Isaac. On Friday... Um, I, uh, uh, what do I do on Friday again? I don't, I don't even remember. Oh, I play fighting games on Friday. Yeah, because, uh, uh, so, so I'm, and also, I'm really sorry about this week. I just wanted to, you know, spend time with my family on Christmas and stuff like that. And, uh, also take a little break, um, from live streaming, uh, early, uh, yesterday, uh, later on yesterday. I was going to live stream this tier list, but I figured, you know what? May as well, uh, record it and shit like that instead. So, uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for chilling. Let me just make sure that this is recording. Yes, it is. All right, so I got a new tier list for you guys. This is uh, my Pokemon Gen 2 uh, tier list. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, Gen 2 is my least favorite out of the first five uh, generations. I don't know anything about the sixth, seventh, or eighth generation. But um, yeah, it's one of my least favorites. Um, and... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, um, but it's just uh, I don't know. I, I just feel like a lot of the Pokemon. It's basically like uh, gold and silver. Uh, there's some of everybody's, uh, like every Pokemon fans, uh, some of their favorite games, gold and silver, um, because of the um, the legendaries. But with me, it's more or less just like, you know, uh, I don't know. It feels like it takes all the Pokemon from Gen One combines them with a hundred more Pokemon and just like, you know, whatever. It doesn't give us a new generation of just new Pokemon. It just recycles something that's old and whatever. And I hate how they do that every other generation. It's kind of annoying to me. But uh regardless, um thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Um and uh if you guys uh like this video or um uh or like Pokemon, definitely please uh give a subscribe if you want to. Or, um, or hit that like or dislike button, they both help. Or share this video with your friends um, and colleagues who like Pokemon and, uh, you know, um, like opinions about Pokemon. Um, and also definitely hit that notify bell. Make sure you get all that content when it comes out, blah, 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 all that stuff. So, uh, so yeah. Um, so basically, uh, this list is going to be uh, S tier is the highest, um, D tier is the lowest, um, and S tier is favorite, A tier is good, B tier is average, C tier is below average, and D tier is useless. Um, there are some Pokemon that I, actually a lot of Pokemon that I really don't like in this generation. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be a little bit harsh on, uh, on this generation. There's only 100 Pokemon from Gen 2. So yeah, this is going to be a quick one. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, and also before I start, let me just say that all these opinions are, uh, are based on, you know, my, uh, my memories from the games, um, what Pokemon that I think look cool, uh, and, you know, like, some of their moves and whatever, I guess, um, and usually their type, because I, I like, I like a lot of different types of Pokemon, um, mostly, uh, mostly ghost and, uh, fighting types, but, and also, like, uh, you know, like, uh, thunder types, or, uh, yeah, thunder types, and a lot of fire types, too. So, yeah, it's based solely on my opinion. Um, and also the cards, too. The, uh, you know, the Pokemon cards. You know, what card I had and what card I valued more than others just because I liked the card. And it usually reflects on how I like Pokemon now as a total. Um, so, yeah, the, like I said, this, this uh, list is purely opinion-based. Um, if you have any thoughts or comments or... Uh, Want to curse me out? Definitely leave it in the comments. Please don't curse me out. I'm only human, and uh, you know I do this because of opinion-based purposes. And uh, if you don't like something I have to say, I mean, people love their Pokemon, like I said in the last tier list. So, you know, I'm just gonna focus on uh, not. I I'm gonna try and not be too negative, but you know me. This is what I do on tier lists. So, without further ado, let's go. So, the first Pokemon in Gen 2, Chikorita. Um. I am not a big fan of Leaf-type starters. I've said that before. I'll say it multiple times throughout this stream. I'm not a big fan of Leaf-type starters. Um, Chikorita, he's cute. 
so I I didn't really have a lot of memories with Chikorita because I always picked either uh um uh what's his face uh Cyndaquil um or uh Totodile. So yeah. Um, also, I might get a little flustered about the names of these Pokemon just because I don't remember all of them. But uh, but yeah, I know literally 90% of them. I play Pokemon Go uh, a lot, actually. Um, but uh, but yeah, so Chikorita for me uh, is going to be an average tier just because Chikorita is cute. Um, and I never, I never really picked him as a starter, mostly because I really... Uh, well... I'll get to it. I really can't stand the final form of uh, Chikorita um, at all, actually. Um, Bayleaf is pretty cool, um, but doesn't look as cute as uh, Chikorita, man. I mean, uh, you know, he has the flippy little, uh, you know, the leaf uh, on his head, just like Chikorita does. But, um, yeah, I'm not really a big fan of Bayleaf. Um, so, so, yeah, like I said, leaf-type starters, uh, not a big fan. So I'm going to put um, Bayleaf in below average. And then Meganium, useless, because it's just like, that is the shittiest um, final form or final evolution of a Pokemon ever. Like, honestly, hands down, I hate Meganium. Um, uh, they could have made the final form of Chikorita into a badass fucking Pokemon, but they decided, oh, yeah, you know, let's make this fucking piece of shit. And, uh, yeah, so Meganium goes into the useless tier. Um, I don't like Meganium, so, yeah, my disdain for Meganium is beyond comprehension, basically. So, uh, let's move on to, um, uh, what's, what's his face? Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil, I love Cyndaquil, man, he's cool. Um, I just like the fire coming out of the back, you know, it's dope. Um, yeah, Cyndaquil, I'm gonna put in favorite. Why not? He's a little little uh, mouse type thingy, majiggy, or uh, I don't even know what the fucking thing is. Honestly, I I haven't done any research on it or anything. But uh, he looks like a little mouse, you know, like a little uh, I don't know, maybe like an ant eater, uh, ant eater, like an aardvark or whatever. So yeah, he's cute. Um, and you know, I like fire types, especially starting fire types, as you guys know. So yeah, um, Cyndaquil gets uh gets a nest here, in my opinion. Uh, Quilava, I'll put Quilava in good tier. Um, and Totodile, or, uh, Typhlosion, rather, I will put in, um, let's see, I'll put, I'll put Typhlosion in, uh, favorite tier. Because, like, I don't know, I, I, I love the way he stands on his hind legs, and, like I said, he has the flames on his back. So, yeah, it just looks cool, um. And, uh, honestly, he's a badass final form of a Pokemon, so why not? Um, let's move on to the alligator, uh, starter. Um, Totodile. He's cute. I mean, he's a fucking alligator. All alligators are badass, so, yeah. Um, Croconaw. Um, hmm. I, I, I always used to pick Totodile just because, like I said, I, I love alligators. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty cool looking, pretty badass looking in nature. So, yeah, Totodile. Little cute little thing. And then, uh, you know, when he evolves, he turns into Croconaw, which is uh, not my favorite second form of a, of a starter. Um, honestly, a lot, of the, a lot of the second forms of the starters are kind of ass. So, whatever. I'll put him in a good tier. Um, just because he, like he, he looks like an egg with a dinosaur, with a, you know, uh, he looks more like a dinosaur than anything. Or no. Well, it doesn't matter whether he looks like a dinosaur, but he looks like a... His belly looks like an egg, kind of, and that kind of throws me off, because it's just like, whoa, like, you know, he's not the baby Pokemon, so what the fuck. So, yeah, good tier he goes. Um, for Alligator, yeah, definitely favorite tier. He just looks so menacing, like, he looks like, looks like if you came across one of those in nature, like, you're gonna fucking die, probably, most likely, 100% of the time. And, uh, yeah, he just looks really cool. Um, and, yeah. So, that's for Alligator, whatever. Uh, and also, like I said, I used to pick them, uh, you know, as starters all the time, usually, um, in, uh, in gold. I never had silver version, I had gold version. So, so yeah. Uh, let's move on. Sentrit, yeah, not a big fan. Useless tier. Don't like the way it looks. It does not look like it can win in a fight at all. Maybe, maybe the, the tail, you know, looks decent or whatever but not a big fan of sentient uh 
And ferret. Ferret looks cool. I like ferrets. Ferrets are cool-looking animals. They're nice and slinky and whatever. They can, you know, they can run fast. I actually knew somebody that had a pet ferret, and I was, like, attached to the thing for a long time. So, um, I'll put ferret um, in the good tier. I like ferret. He's cute. But uh, I don't like his starting form. Sentient kind of looks like a, uh, a really fucked up... Uh, uh, winged bat or winged, uh, oh, 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 what do they call them? Sugar glider. Just looks like a really shitty sh sugar glider, I guess. Um, all right, so, uh, yeah, let's move on to Hootoot. Um, yeah, Hootoot is cool and everything. Uh, I'm not gonna put him in useless tier, but I'm gonna put Hootoot in average. Um, cause I don't know. I don't. I don't think that thing could ever kick any, but anything's ass. Uh, maybe it could peck things. Whatever. Um, I think that his evolved form, Knocked Owl, is much more suitable as like an opponent for a uh, an animal. Um, like anything that could kick my cat's ass would probably usually go in S tier or at least good tier, depending on how it looks and you know my memories with it and whatever. But uh, Knocked Owl is going to be in. The average tier, because um, owls are known for catching little critters. That's what they do. And this one looks like a pretty, you know, strong fucking owl, man. It looks like uh, this is the one that you hear late at night uh, that keeps you up at night um, in certain parts of the world. So, yeah, Knocked Owl, fucking, uh, you know, a champion of life. Look at him standing, you know, tall and proud and all that good shit. Let's move on to Ladyba. Yeah. Um, yeah, useless tier. It's a ladybug. I mean, that's all it is. You know, it doesn't look very tough at all. Um, I like, I like, uh, the move that it had, one of the moves that it has in, um, Pokemon Stadium, no, Pokemon Coliseum, where, um, uh, it, Comet Punch, it's a, it's a good move. It's a good move. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Ladybug, not a big fan of the Pokemon in general, um, Lady Anne, however, I like the look of Lady Anne, so, I mean, it's not very a very strong Pokemon. Bug Pokemon really aren't that strong. There's so much that can really hurt it. Fire types destroy, destroy bug types, so does so do ice types. Um, anything that's, you know, has a really solid, uh, you know, um, especially, I feel like fighting types, you know, in nature, not in Pokemon, are, are like, would be strong against fucking bugs. So, yeah, Lady Anne gets average, you know. Um, but I, the only reason why it gets average is because it, it's, again, a, a ladybug. I get that. But it, it kind of looks badass, you know. It has it's just looks cool. Um, Spinarak, yeah, fuck these things. In gold, I would come across nothing but Spinaraks. Nothing but Spinaraks. It's so annoying. Um, just... My hatred for Spinarak is about on par with Rat uh, Rattata in the last video that I made. Um, yeah, Spinarak can suck my balls. Fuck Spinarak. And also, it doesn't even look like a, you know, a hardcore-ass spider. Ariados, on the other hand, is going to get the same treatment as Ladyba, because Ariados actually looks menacing. It looks like, a, you know, a bee slash uh, spider. And, uh, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of spiders. I don't like spiders. Um, they creep me the fuck out, and, uh, they're just weird and we eerie looking. Like, they got hairs all over, and ugh. Fuck spiders. Um, so, yeah, let's move on. Spin a rack. Average tier. Crobat. Okay, so I shit, uh, all over Zubat and Golbat. I don't like them at all whatsoever, but... Um, but Crobat, on the other hand, is pretty badass. He has some pretty good moves. Um, he has a pretty good move set in, uh, uh, Pokemon Gold. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna put him in the good tier, just because he's badass. Um, and also, uh, I like the look of him. I mean, you got Zubat, that annoying motherfucker, and every single cave, the motherfucker is always there. Always there, always pissing you off. Just a shitty, shitty Pokemon. But you got Crobat. And I like Crobat. Or, uh, yeah. Crobat. So, uh, yeah. Crobat. Let's move on. Crobat. <laughs> um, Lantern. 
Uh, no, not Lantern. Uh, whoa. Chinchow? No. Yeah, Chinchow, and then it evolves into Lampin. Uh, uh, Lantern. Yeah, Chinchow, um, is going to get an average. And just because, you know, it is a lightning water type, it's, they're actually, Lantern and Chinchow are pretty cool because they're water, but they're also electric types. And that's very, very rare in Pokemon. Like, one of the strongest Pokemon, um, uh, that ever existed in the, like, after, like, during the first three gens, like, uh, Lantern is probably one of the strongest. Um, just cause, yeah, like I said, lightning and water, they mix with this Pokemon, and it's really cool. Um, that's why Lantern is gonna get a good tier, because, you know, Lantern's fucking, like I said, badass. There's not a whole lot that can really hurt it. Um, the only thing that could really hurt it is maybe, uh, ground types. Ground types are pretty, uh, pretty good against Lantern, but that's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's move on to Pichu. Okay. Uh, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like Pichu. Um, he's cute, uh, but I don't like him as much as P uh, Pikachu. And I feel like, uh, you know, they should have evolved Pikachu further from Raichu and just made it look more badass than putting a pre-evolutionary form on Pikachu. I, I feel like Pikachu should be um, the starting Pokemon, uh, like the first evolution of three and not the second. But Pichu's cute. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with a little tiny, little tiny rat. Um, it, it looks like it's tough, too. So, you know, tough little rat, Pichu, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to put uh, Pichu in the good tier. He's cute. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. The thing's fucking adorable. Um, huh. Kleefa, on the other hand, yep, useless tier. Like I complained about in the last, uh, in the last video, um... Uh, the Gen 1 video, I don't like Clefairy, I don't like Clefable, so Kleefa obviously is going to get um, useless tier because, you know, like I said, I just feel like, uh, you know, all three of them are just completely, complete garbage when it comes to Pokemon. They're way too simple, and I'm not a big fan of simple when it comes to Pokemon. I like them to look, like, really unique, really cool, stand out, you know, I want them to stand out. So yeah, uh, Kleefa, yeah, useless tier. Um, Buff. uh, this is the pre-evolution of Jigglypuff, um, I talked about, I talked highly about Jigglypuff, he got, I think, a favorite tier, um, he was in favorite tier, uh, yeah, Buff. it's confusing, um, I don't know how I feel about Buff. I'll just put him in average, now we're below average, definitely not useless tier, that's for Kleefa alone, um, but yeah, I mean, Buff is sort of cute, you know, just all the baby Pokemon are kind of cute. Um, but besides Kleefa, fuck Kleefa. Um, but <clears throat> Buff is cool. Uh, let's move on to Togepi. I fucking love Togepi, man. He's getting a solid S tier, solid favorite tier for sure. I mean, uh, especially in the anime, you know, <clears throat> just like the way Togepi sounds. You know, just like that little squeaky voice, the way it says uh, Togepi is fucking adorable. Like, how could you not love Togepi? He's like a little, he's coming out of an egg, and he looks like he's, you know, just a little squishy thing that you just want to hug and, you know, give pop poffins to, you know? So, yeah, um, Togepi is pretty cute, pretty cute. Let's move on to Togetic, it's evolved form. Um, Togetic is very underwhelming to me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of... Uh, Togetic, just because, I don't know, like, I don't like the way it, tra like, <clears throat> it transforms from Togepi to Togetic, it doesn't, I mean, it, 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 it kind of has, like, the same, you know, same patterns on its belly, like, Togepi has, but why, why is it white, like, make it a little, you know, egg-shaped, or what, like, uh, egg, egg color, like, almost like egg yolk, you know, or, uh, I don't know, yeah, just brighten, brighten it up, you don't have to make it white, that's kind of, it's kind of plain. So for that, I'm going to put it in, I guess, average. Average seems fair. Um, yeah, Togetic is all right. Uh, I don't know how, I don't remember how strong it is in the games or anything, but but yeah, Togetic. Let's move on to Natu. Yeah, Natu is another one of those Pokemon that just does not look tough at all. It looks like 
if an animal actually attacked that thing, it'd be dead in three seconds. Like, there's no way. But it's cool that it's a psychic type. That's not. That's why it's not getting a u useless. You know, uh, it's not in the useless category. But Natu is just way too tiny. Um, and uh, you know, not a big fan of it. But Exatu, on the other hand, is going up to good tier just because I love the way it looks. Um, Exatu looks like a Native American bird, like a true blue Native American like representation of a Pokemon, and I love that. Um, the feathers, its wings, it just looks really cool. The beak, just like everything, just makes it look majestic, makes it stand out. So yeah, Exatu, getting a good tier. Um, yeah. Let's move on to Mareep. Mareep, um, below average. Um, it's cute. It's a fluffy little lamb. Uh, it doesn't look very tough at all. But, uh, I mean, it looks kind of cool. Flaffy, on the other hand, yeah, useless tier. I don't like the look of Flaffy. Um, it just looks very stupid. And why is it, why is it like a reddish-orange color as opposed to yellow? You know, I, I don't, I don't get it. Um, but the evolved form, however, of Flaffy, Ampharos, uh, can go in my favorite tier. Just because I love the way this thing looks. It just looks like, kind of looks very tiger-esque, which is pretty cool. Um, and I love its tail. You know, that its tail is like a ball. It's, it's just awesome looking. Um, yeah, also, uh, guys, if you're, if you're confused, um, there are some, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, mega evolutions of Pokemon in this list. I did not create this list. Um, it is actually created by um, uh, Lamp24206536. Shout out to you, um, ma'am or sir. You are awesome. Thanks for giving us this awesome tier list that I can share with people. I did not do that on the last uh, on the last tier list um, with Pokemon. I apologize. I try and give credit to everybody. Um, because it took a lot of hard work to get these sprites and stuff like that. So, you know, um, kudos to you, sir. Thank you. And thank you for letting me use it. And thank you for posting it on, uh, tiermaker.com. I really appreciate it. Um, Blossom. Uh, Blossom is the second, third evolved form of, uh, Gloom, Vileplume, and, you know, uh, Oddish, Oddish, Gloom, Vileplume. I, I don't like Blossom. I don't know why. I just, I, I, I take issue with Blossom. Um, Blossom can go in the useless tier just because I love Vileplume so much. And I love, I love the way it looks. And f to me, like, Blossom doesn't look anything like Oddish or Gloom or Vileplume or anything. It just kind of looks uh, a little bit weird, um, in my opinion. But then again, you know, uh, like I said, this is opinion based. I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't like any of these Pokemon that I put in the useless tier. I just, uh, this is my least favorite generation out of all of them um, that I've actually played so far. I played a little bit of X and Y, but uh, not enough to like judge the Pokemon because I haven't found all the Pokemon yet, nor will I for a while because I still have to play through them. I've been very, very busy. I do plan on playing them, um, but not anytime soon so yeah it's gonna this series is gonna stop at generation five for now and then i'll play x and y and i will uh judge it after i play them so yeah um blossom fuck you blossom you uh i i don't like the look of you at all you're just totally misplaced and you are not you you are not supposed to be oddish's predecessor fuck that oddish is way too cute for that shit so yeah, let's move on. But this is gonna be a quick tier list, guys, because uh, it's like four o'clock in the morning here, and I gotta get some sleep because I'm doing some stuff tomorrow. Um, this video will go uh, or do some stuff later on today, rather. So I gotta get some sleep. But because um, tomorrow's Sunday, it's my day off. I just want to chill, have fun, and whatever. Um, but like I said, Blossom sucks. I, I don't like the look of it. I don't like the design. And also the fact that it's a grass type. <clears throat> grass types really, really have to impress me um, look-wise in the looks department for me to care. And I don't really care with Blossom. It just looks like a typical, you know, flower. You know, it, it, it's just a flower. So, yeah. Um, but uh, let's move on to Meryl. Uh, Meryl, I think, is really cute. Um, I'm going to put it in the average tier. Just because it's not the strongest of Pokemon, I would never choose Meryl. 
um, uh, or, you know, or even, like, try to evolve it or, or whatever. But uh, Meryl's cute. Um, and there's nothing else I can really say. Um, Meryl's just there. So, yeah. Um, let's move on to uh, as a Meryl. Because I think it goes, um, let's see. It goes as a real, as a Meryl, um, as a Mer- uh, no, as a real Meryl, as a Meryl. Yeah, I think that's the way it goes. Uh, uh, as a real is actually the pre-evolution of uh, Meryl, but we're not going to talk about that in this tier list because that's Gen three. That's going to come later. This is Gen uh, two. So yeah, um, like I said, not a uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Meryl, but it's it's a cute little mouse. So. Hey, what's up, bud? What's up, Clyde? My cat's here. He climbed up on my lap. So, yeah, Meryl's there. Um, he's in the average tier. So, yeah, let's move on to Azumarill. Um, Not a big fan of Azumarill either, I'll, but I'll put it in average because it is a strong Pokemon. Um, the evolution of Meryl is pretty strong. Uh, it has a pretty solid defense. So, yeah, that's how I feel about uh, Azumarill. Um, let's see. Sudowoodo is going to get a favorite tier for me, because I just love the way um, Sudowoodo is, like, that fun little tree thing that has, you know, it just looks like a tree, but it's, like, it's fun looking, and, you know, I don't know, kind of kind of dopey looking, and I like that, you know? Sometimes I like that in Pokemon, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I forget, I forget what type of Pokemon it is. I think it's a ground type, but I'm not sure 100%. I don't know a lot of my types when it comes to Pokemon, but uh, but yeah, if that's if you guys take issue with that, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, Sudowoodo is pretty cute, pretty cool, and he's a actually a pretty good Pokemon to have in uh in Gold and Silver. So yeah, Sudowoodo, favorite tier for sure. Politoed. Um, yeah, I like Poliwrath a lot actually. Um, and Politoed to me is just like it looks nothing like Poliwag or Poliwhirl or Poliwrath. It's just one of those things that they just like they were just like, oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, I guess we're just gonna shoehorn this, uh, you know, um, other third evolution, um, into uh, you know, into Pokemon. So yeah, um, Politoed can I'm gonna put it in the average tier, I guess, or below average um eh, probably below average because like i said it looks nothing like the pre-evolutions of it and i don't know polytoad is polytoad i guess um uh, moving on okay i always forget these three's name so i think the first one is hop hip and then uh Hopip, Skip Plume, Jump Pluff. There we go. Uh, Hopip, yeah, useless. I'm not a big fan of Hopip in Pokemon Go at all, ever. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't like its the look of it. It's it's really really weak. Um, in uh, in Pokemon Gold, like it, it it's kind of it's kind of sloggy because once you get the Jump Pluff, Jump Pluff is pretty pretty all right. Um, uh, but you know, it's just, it's just a bitch to try and, you know, um, to try and evolve this Pokemon into something better. It takes a long time and it takes a lot of fucking balls, you know, and time and patience. So yeah, Hopip can get any useless tier. So can Skiploom. I don't really like the looks of Skiploom. He's, Skiploom is like one of the most average, substandard, subpar looking Pokemon, I think, in any generation. It just looks plain to me. I don't get it. Um, and why does it evolve from from Hopip? Hopip no- looks nothing like Skiploom. So yeah, um, Skiploom is a uh, yeah useless tier. Jumpluff, however, I'm gonna put in the good tier. It looks it looks cute, but you know it also looks like uh, it's got some contagious ass fucking balls on it, and like fucking you know it'll give Pokemon severe allergies while they're trying to beat it up. And the fucking thing is going to fly all over the place and just, you know, slam its beautiful, beautiful, round little blueberry body into the Pokemon and KO them and maybe put them to sleep or whatever. Do a fucking choke slam on them. 
No, I'm kidding. But, uh, you know, jump pluff is pretty cool. Um, but it, it, like I said, it just takes a lot of work um, and patience, you know, because, like I said, you start with hop it. Hop it sucks. And then skip bloom is like, what the fuck? And then, you know, you finally get to jump pluff and you're just like, eh, eh, I don't care anymore. It's like one of those Pokemon that you just want to evolve, but you don't want to keep in your party. You just want to evolve it just to register in your Pokedex. You don't even want to, you know, you don't want to invite it to the party. It's like, uh, these, those three are like the, the unwanted guests. It's just like, man, this motherfucker showed up fucking jump pluff. It's like, I don't know, but I like jump pluff. He's cool looking. Um, but yeah, like I said, it just takes a lot of work. So let's move on to Apom. Apom is cool looking. I mean, he's got a, he's got a tail that'll slap you. I'll put him in good tier. Um, he, he has a hand for a tail, which is pretty inventive. I like abstractism um, when it comes to anything. So, yeah, I mean, Apom is awesome. Um, it, it, like, who, who, <laughs> what kind of acid do you have to fucking take to make a Pokemon or a, an ape uh, Pokemon have, um, you know, uh, a hand for a tail? Like yeah, those people at uh at at Game Freak definitely uh you know are dropping some hardcore drugs there, but Apom is pretty cool. Um, and he's purple. I like the color purple. You know, I I I don't get why people hate it. I love the color purple. It's cool. And he's a purple monkey. So yeah, monkeys are dope. So yeah, good tier. He goes. Uh, and I, I never really, I never really had him in my party all that much, um, because he didn't evolve in this generation until next generation. So yeah, Apom's pretty cool. Um, Sunkern. Uh, see, Sunkern, like I said, grass type Pokemon aren't my thing, but Sun Sunkern is different because it's cute. Um, and you know, it's just a little little seedling and whatever, and then it grows into a flower, which is really beautiful. You know, it's like it's t that's typical nature. It's a uh, it's a little it's a little seedling, and then it blossoms into a beautiful sunflower. So yeah, Sunkern is gonna go in um, average tier, and then Sunflora. I I like Sunflora. It looks happy. You know, um, looks like a happy happy Pokemon, and it looks like uh, you know, like uh it's going to be hard to hard to hit this pokemon too like uh i don't know there's not a lot of surface area to get you know uh, a nice critical hit unless it's you know in the sunflower in the face or whatever but uh yeah sunflora i'll put in the good tier why not definitely not my favorite definitely not favorite tier but yeah now let's move on to yanma yeah fuck yanma i don't like yanma i don't even like fucking picking this pokemon up like i i'd rather just run away from it you know um I mean, I like dragonflies, but, uh, actually, you know what? I do like dragonflies. Um, they're really majestic. Um, so I'm going to move them to below average, but Yanma kind of just, you know, puts dragonflies to shame, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. Um, Yan Mega even, you know, the evolved form of, of Yanma in Gen 3, I'm also not a big fan of. I don't know why. I just don't, I just don't, I don't know. I, it, to me, it just doesn't look menacing. It's like if one wing gets damaged, it's fucked, you know? So, yeah, um, Yanma is going to sit in below average tier with, uh, you know, a uh, stupid-looking Politoed over there. Um, okay, uh, next Pokemon is Wooper. Wooper can go in the below average tier. <clears throat> I don't really like the look of this Pokemon, Um Quagsire actually looks cooler. Um, I like the way Quagsire looks, and Quagsire has a solid defense. I had, I had a Wooper, and then I evolved it um, into a Quagsire um, in uh, in Pokemon Gold, and that thing fucking slapped. You know that that fucking Quagsire slaps bitches like for a living. Like that defense is solid, even even more solid than for alligators was. So yeah, Quagsire is going to get a solid. Actually, I have a lot of positive memories with Quagsire, so I'm going to put him in my favorites my favorites list, my favorite tier. So, yeah, Quagsire, S tier for sure. And then we get to the uh, the two Eevee evolutions in, um, in Gen 2. So, uh, yeah, Espeon is definitely going in favorite, and so is Umbreon, just because they look fucking awesome. It's like, it's like day and night almost. It's like psychic, dark, you know? 
like one looks like daytime one looks like nighttime like it's just really really cool um and, and also i love espion just because like the double tail like that's a that's like a unique trait that doesn't come often or doesn't come at all honestly with uh, any of the other ev evolutions so yeah espion favorite tier umbrarion also like you know umbrarion is is a fucking dark looking dog thing you know and um honestly uh you start out with uh espion and umbrarion in um in uh pokemon uh stadium or uh no pokemon coliseum i always mix the two up i think it's pokemon coliseum uh the game the gamecube game um yeah pokemon coliseum yeah, you start off with these two, and it's just like it's a it's a cool start. They're the they're honestly some of the best Pokemon in Gen two, so yeah, um, they get favorite status for sure. Murkrow, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Murkrow. I'm gonna put him in useless. I'm sorry guys, I I gotta do it. Like I I don't like the look of Murkrow. He's just he's a crow. Cool, you know. I I don't know. He doesn't look like look like a badass crow. He just looks like a crow. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. That knocks points off for me, definitely. And why does he have a hat on? I don't know. I have no clue. So, yeah, useless tier. Let's move on to Slowking. Yeah, like I said, I don't like Slowpoke. And Slowbro, uh, I could care less about. Um, Slowking actually looks cool. Uh, he looks... He looks like one of the one one of the he looks like the cooler version uh, of Slowpoke. He looks less lazy. He looks more majestic. He has a crown on his head that's made from a shelter somehow. I don't even know. Um, he just looks cool, and he looks like regal, you know, almost pretty regal. So I'm gonna give Slowking. I'm gonna put him in the good tier. Why not? I mean, like I said, he, you know, um, he he looks like a badass version of Slowpoke, and Slowpoke is like a lazy fucking pink piece of shit. So. Yeah, there we go. Um, but Slow King, um, definitely in the good tier. I like the way it looks. Um, let's move on to Mistrevious. Yeah, a ghost type Pokemon. It's got to go an average for me. Um, actually, no, good tier because Mistrevious is cool looking. Um, it's just one of those Pokemon that you look at and you're just like, man, this thing, I got to catch it. I got to catch it. It's like, I don't know, when it comes up, it's just like, man, I really, really want to fucking catch this thing. Like, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. Um, uh, Mistrevious is, a, a, like, a really cool-looking Pokemon. Uh, the Evolve form, however, I'm not a big fan of. Um, we'll, we'll get to that next, uh, next episode. But, for right now, Mischievous is, uh, you know, good tier. Um, because, like I said, it's a Ghost-type Pokemon. You can't go wrong with Ghost-types, guys. Ghost-types are always good. So, yeah, let's move on to Unknown. Yeah, fuck Unknown. Uh, honestly, like, what... When you go and try and get these Pokemon and whatever, you, you, you want to collect them for a little bit, for just a tiny bit. And then once you're over it, you're just like, eh, fuck it. I'm over it. You know, it doesn't even doesn't even matter to you at a certain point. It's just like, oh, cool. I got uh, unknown A. Oh, no, I got unknown C. It's just all the letters of the alphabet and shit all into one thing. Oh, I got Pokemon comma. Oh, I got Pokemon period. Oh, shit. You know, not a, not a big fan of Pokemon uh, or uh I'm a big fan of Pokemon, just not a big fan of Unknown. Um, but the Unknown cards are actually worth a decent amount of money, um, especially first edition ones. So if you guys ever want to collect them all, go right ahead. I'm not going to judge you. Um, so let's move on to Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet's awesome, man. Like, uh, you know, Wobbuffet uh, came into the picture in, uh, in, 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 uh, um, in the anime, and Jesse and James had the Wobbuffet, and, and the thing would just go, Wobbuffet. And just, like, you know, salute everybody as they're blasting off. It was just a fun little quirky character. Um, it doesn't look really badass or anything. Quagsire looks fucking badass. Honestly, I feel like Wooper should evolve, it should evolve into Wobbuffet, and then Wobbuffet should evolve into Quagsire. That's how I feel. But, I don't know. Just because they kind of look simmer, similar, I guess. But, yeah, Wobbuffet is pretty cool. Um, like a comic relief character in, in, in the Pokemon anime. And I'm all, I'm down for that shit. I love that stuff. So yeah, Wobbuffet, S tier. Let's move on to, uh, this Pokemon called Girafferig. Um, I'm going to put Girafferig in favorite tier. He was one of the, one of my prized cards that I had when I was a kid. Um, and I also like the fact that his tail has a little mouth on it and you know, whatever. Like that's so cool. Um, and also I'm a big fan of giraffes, so, yeah, I think giraffes are pretty cool animals in general, in nature. 
Um, uh, although I never really realized uh, why it has such a short neck. It almost looks more like a horse. But uh, whatever. It's uh, it's a giraffe, and he's he's pretty badass looking, honestly. And the tail has a fucking mouth on it that's gonna bite your shit off. So, yeah. Like I said, uh, giraffe rig is gonna you know go into favorite tier. Why not? Um, let's move on to Pinaco. Um, hmm. Pinaco's cool looking. I really like Pinaco. Um, but I'm going to put him into the average category. Um, I mean, I mean, pine, he, he's a pine cone. You know, it's nothing really that special. Um, his evolved form, however, is really awesome looking. Um, but Pinaco, it's like, uh... He looks cool, but not really, uh, you don't think a pine cone is going to really fuck anything up in general. So yeah, um, it's a pine cone, pineco, average. Uh, it's evolved form, however, Fortress, um, has a pretty solid defense, like one of the coolest, one of the best defenses in Gen 2, besides, you know, a Pokemon that we're going to talk about soon. Um, you know, Fortress is, uh, fucking badass, man, um. I'm going to put it in the good tier. Uh, it's not my favorite Pokemon, but just for its defense. I, I like Pokemon with a really high defense. Um, I like Pokemon with a good attack um, and fighting type Pokemon, but I like I love a Pokemon. I'm a sucker for a Pokemon that has a really solid defense, and Fortress has a solid defense. So, yeah, um, good tier for sure. Um, let's move on to Dunsparce. Yeah, I don't even know what this thing is, and I don't even care. Um, anytime I, you know, caught one of them, it looks weird and unique, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, what is what is Dunsparce actually? Is it a is it a bee? Is it some sort of grub worm? A bug? I don't know. Obviously, it's a bug, but uh, what kind of bug is it? Not sure. Not sure. So, yeah, useless tier. I would never put this thing in my party, nor should I. So yeah, let's move on to uh, Gliger. Gliger is average to me. Um, there's not really a whole lot I can say about him. He's like a flying bat crab, crab bat Pokemon. You know, uh, just not anything special to me at all. Uh, I, I don't really remember good memories with uh, with Gliger. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, not, not a big fan of Gliger. Let's move on to Steelix. Steelix can go all the way up into favorite tier. Fuck yeah. Steelix is dope, man. Um, the fact that an already badass Pokemon that's a rock type evolves into a steel type and just looks even more badass is fucking awesome. Steelix is so cool looking. It's not even funny. I love the look of Steelix. Um, and, dude, the like, probably one of the best defenses in any Pokemon game. Like, it has an iron fucking steel defense. Like, uh, and it's, it's hard, it's hard to, to beat a Steelix, man. Trust me. I've, I, I've tried. I, I've tried to do it so many times. And, um, and, uh, I think he's one of the Pokemon, uh, don't, don't quote me on this, but I think he's, uh, Steelix is one of the Pokemon in, um, the final, the, uh, the, the Pokemon League, um, at, uh, at the end of gold. I'm not sure, like I said, don't quote me on that, but I think he is. And I think I remember trying to kick this motherfucker's ass, but I didn't. And it's just uh, good memories with Steelix. So yeah, Steelix goes into favorite tier, S tier, let's move on to uh, this Pokemon called Snubble. Um, I'm going to put Snubble in below average. Uh, it looks like a grumpy, a grumpy cat, almost. Like maybe like a grumpy pig. I'm not sure what this thing actually is, but it looks grumpy. And uh, you know what? I'm I'm a big fan of things that look grumpy in Pokemon games. I mean, you ha you can't have everything look happy all the time, you know. So yeah, Snubble gets a uh, gets a below average tier for me. Um, but Gramble um, can go in the good tier. I like I like the look of it. Um, oh okay, yeah, Snubble is actually a bulldog, and so is Gramble. Just an evolved form of a bulldog. Yeah. Gramble looks cool. Um, uh, definitely a big fan of the teeth, um, the way it stands up. It just kind of looks ferocious, like, you know, like a pit bull. So, yeah, um, Gramble is going to get good tier. Um, 
This fucking thing. Quillfish? Yeah, fuck this thing. This thing looks stupid. I, it's, it's a puffer fish. That's all it is. It's like, it's like what do you what do you even do with a puffer fish? I don't know. Hey, quillfish? Yeah, useless. I'm not even gonna talk about quillfish and like at at all all that much. Just cause like I don't even like trying to catch it in Pokemon Go. I will avoid this Pokemon till the day that I die. Um, just not a just not a huge fan of the Pokemon itself. Um, just kind of useless to me. So, uh, let's move on to Scizor. Scizor. Um, I want to put him in good category, just because... Here's the thing, why does Scyther evolve into him? I think Scyther looks a little bit more badass. Um, and you, you literally have to go through hoops in order to uh, evolve Scyther in the first place. So, uh, yeah. I'm not a, not a huge fan of Scizor, personally. But, um, I mean... And and I don't I don't understand why they can't just be two separate Pokemon, um, Scyther and Scizor, but whatever. Scizor is cool. Hey, what's up? I'll 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 be I'll be up I'll I'll be up in a little bit. Um, but yeah, Scizor is cool, uh, but not as cool as Scyther. So that's why I'm gonna put it in a good tier. Also, because it like I said, it's a pain in the ass to um to uh to evolve Scyther in the first place. So yeah, let's move on. Um, to Shuckle. Shuckle is a pretty badass Pokemon. Not gonna lie. Uh, it's, uh, th this Pokemon doesn't have a lot of health, but, uh, you know, it, it makes up for it. And, um, and I think, uh, evasiveness, like, or, uh, not evasiveness, um, defense. It makes up for it in defense. Um, so yeah, um, Shuckle is... And also, Shuckle is pretty cute, you know. So I'm gonna put Shuckle in good tier. Um, I don't, I, I don't remember exactly what type of Pokemon it is, but um, it's a pretty badass one. So yeah, uh, let's move on to Heracross. Yeah, not a big fan of uh, bug types. Um, Pinsir uh, and Heracross are kind of one A and one B for me. Um, they're in, on the same tier level. So I'm gonna put Heracross in average I'm, i don't remember where i put pincer but yeah i think i put him in below average but i'll put heracross in average just because he's cooler than pincer um but yeah like i said bug type pokemon aren't really my thing they're not my speed um i like some bo bug type pokemon but not a lot of them um let's move on to sneasel um sneasel's pretty cool i mean he's like he's a cat that has a razor sharp sharp you know claws kind of like my cat and my cat fucking scratches everything and rips everything up. Um, I mean, I love Clyde, but oh god, sometimes he is a pain in my butt. So yeah, um, I like Sneasel. Uh, I'm gonna put Sneasel in the good tier because um, he's a cat. I'm a big fan of cats. I I I've had cats my whole life, so that's why I like cats so much. Um, let's move on to Ted Teddy Ursa. Um, Teddy Ursa's cute. I mean, you know, I'm gonna put Teddy Ursa in the good tier, like. I don't know. It's just, there's just something about it that just screams like cuteness. Like if if I found a baby cub and it looked like Teddy Ursa, I would definitely bring it into my home and raise it, even if it evolves into an Ursaring, which I mean Ursaring is pretty fucking badass. Um, you know, Teddy Ursa is just cute. You know, C cute to look at. You know, just kind of makes you go, oh, you know. So yeah, uh, Ursaring, I'm going to put in the. Um, and the favorite tier, because that was one of my favorite Pokemon cards as a kid, was Ursaring. Um, I remember when I got him, I was just like, ooh, this guy's interesting. I like him. I don't. I, I didn't play uh, Gold version at that point in my life. Um, I collected the cards first before I played the games. I think I told you guys the story in, uh, in the Gen 1 playlist, so watch, watch that one back so you can see the reason why I didn't play the games uh, until later on in life. But yeah, Ursaring definitely a cool badass looking fucking pokemon it's a bear you know it's a giant fucking bear like you can't go wrong with that so let's move on to the f the molten lava slug slugma um yeah this pokemon is so fucking cool looking um and its evolved form looks even cooler i'm gonna put both of them in my favorite category for real like slugma is like you know kind of cute looking but it's like a fucking slug with you know with made of lava and then mass cargo actually has like a you know like um a shell on it which is rock and there's lava coming out like like it's just so cool looking 
Um, and every time, and also Slugma is pretty badass. Like every time I would find a Slugma, I would catch it because it's a fire type. You know, you can't go wrong with fire types, guys. So yeah, um, that's how I feel about Slugma and Mass Cargo. They're they're just two cool looking Pokemon. Um, let's go to Swinub. Yeah, Swinub. Uh, I'll put it in the below average category. Not quite useless, but. What is the thing? I mean, it's just a fluff ball that doesn't even have its eyes open. The thing doesn't even have its eyes open. How can it fight when it doesn't have its eyes open? So, yeah. Um, you know, swine up. Yeah, it's gonna get a. It's gonna get a below average for me. Pilo swine. Same thing. Its hair is covering its eyes. What's the deal with that? Come on, man. The third evolved form is the best evolved form, but you have to get through all this unbelievable you know how do these things fight i don't get it so yeah at least pyloswine has like horns in by its nose so that's that at least accounts for something but uh yeah i'm not a not a big fan of uh swine up or pyloswine so yeah let's move on to corsola um i think misty had a corsola i'm not sure either that or there's an episode um in the anime where uh corsola was a thing um but I think Misty did have a Corsola. Um, I, lo I love the look of this Pokemon. It just looks really, it looks really rigid and cool, and um, it looks like a cute Pokemon too. Like, it looks like something I would definitely want as a pet. You know, um, yeah. And, and I'm I'm a big fan. Of, like, I mean, my favorite color is not pink. That's my mom's favorite color. But I like pink things. You know, I, I mean, I'm a guy. I'm allowed to like pink. Um, but uh, besides, you know. Igly, besides Cleefa and, you know, Clefable and Clefairy, you know, I, I like Corsola. I think Corsola is a very um, cute looking Pokemon. Like I said, very rigid, um, kind of tiny. And I, I'm just a big fan of Corsola. Um, and like I said, he had an, uh, Corsola at least had an episode in the anime um, that I really enjoyed and that I still remember to this day. Um, so yeah, Corsola gets favorite tier. Um, Remoraid. Yeah, fuck Remoraid. Um, not a big fan of the Pokemon. It's kind of useless in my eyes. Um, and it's evolved form Octillery. I'm going to put... Um, it's cool looking and everything, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, uh, But I'm not going to take away from how cool Octillery, Octillery looks, but why does a fish evolve into an octopus? That makes no fucking sense in my eyes. So... Um, Octillery, I'm going to put an average tier. Yeah, average. Because, like, Octillery, I don't get it. I really don't. Um, just the shittiest evolution chain ever, ever made. Let's move on to Delibird. Um, Delibird is like Santa Claus. And who doesn't like Santa Claus? Favorite tier for sure. I fucking love Santa Claus. Um, I didn't used to believe in Santa Claus for a while. And now, because of COVID and everything... My Christmas spirit was through the roof this Christmas, and I believe in Santa Claus once again, guys. And, uh, you know, I'm happy to believe in Santa Claus again. Because it uh, just brings everything back to when I was a kid, and, uh, you know, just, um, you know, it's whimsical. And it's supposed to be fun. And Delibird is Santa Claus. And uh, what a Santa Claus he is. He's a bird, and uh, he has a sack full of gifts. Nothing wrong with that. Let's move on to Mantine. Um, mm. Yeah, Mantine, I'm, I'm, I, I'm very indifferent about. Um, I don't really like the way this Pokemon looks. Uh, so, I'm going to put it in below average, not completely. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put it in useless. Just because it doesn't evolve into anything, and like, what's the point of even getting the thing? I mean, it could surf. You know, that's pretty much about it. But a lot of water types can surf, like Lapras. And, you know, you can get a Lapras in gold and silver and whatever. Um, I just think Mantine is just, uh, well, it's a Stingray Pokemon. And I don't like Stingrays because of what happened with Steve Irwin. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. You were the fucking, you were the, you were the man. You were the man. And you got killed by one of these motherfucking things. Useless tier, I say. Useless tier. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mantine, like I said, it just... Uh, not a big fan of this Pokemon. Um, Skarmory. Uh, hmm. I love the look of this Pokemon. This Pokemon alone looks better than most of the, the Pokemon in Gen 2, for sure. Um, 
I wouldn't have I wouldn't have minded if uh, you know uh, Scizor invo- uh, uh, evolved into Skarmory, but I, I mean I don't see how that's a possibility since Skarmory is a bird, uh, flying steel bird type, uh, or, or a flying bird steel type. But I don't know. I I think it would be cool. Not really. Uh, I'm talking out of my ass. I have no clue what I'm talking about anymore. These tier lists uh, kind of get me jumbled up in thought sometimes, so yeah, bear with me. But, uh, yeah, Skarmory, I'm going to have to put in favorite tier. I love the way the Pokemon looks. What can I say? I'm a, I'm a sucker for metal, for steel types. Um, and also, this is the first gen that, uh, um, that brings steel types to life. So, yeah, just a, just a cool looking Pokemon. Um, let's move on to Houndour and Houndoom. Um, yeah, Houndour, I, I, I like him. He's a, he's just a, a fucking badass looking, you know, fire type, a dark fire type dog. Like, you can't go wrong with that. And Houndoom is one of the coolest looking fucking Pokemon ever made. Um, yeah, I, I just like the look of it. It looks like a hell demon dog, you know, like, uh, one of the, one of the, uh, one of the zombie dogs from Call of Duty. Like, it just looks like a fucking... Looks even cooler than the dogs from Call of Duty. Let's just put it that way. Houndoom looks cool as fuck. And Houndour, Houndour, it's it's a good Pokemon. Um, it's not... it's But it just looks a little more tame compared to Houndoom. And I can't put them on the same tier. Because what would be the point of that? But yeah, Houndoom. It's pretty cool looking. Kingdra. Um... I'm going to give Kingdra a good tier. Um, Seedra, uh, Horsey and Seedra, I put a little bit lower um, in the uh, in the first gen in my last video the, uh, for um, uh, first gen tier list. But Kingdra is up there just because I love the look of Kingdra. Um, I like the way it looks. I like the way it's designed. Um, uh, and I think it's also a dragon type too. So you can't beat that. Dragon types are fucking epic and there's not a whole lot of them. Um, so yeah, let's move on to, uh, Fampy. Fampy is so cute looking. I love elephants, man. Elephants are cool. Um, it, it kind of, Fampy kind of reminds me of Dumbo a little bit. Um, one of my favorite movies growing up, uh, when I was, when I was a little baby. So yeah, Fampy is going to go up to good tier. And Don Fan is really badass. I'm going to put him in my favorite tier because Don Fan knows Rollout and Rollout is fucking badass. So yeah. Um, Fampy, good tier, Don Fan, Rollout, favorite tier, S tier. Uh, let's move on to Porygon 2. Um, I like the way, I, I do like Porygon, um, but I'm not a big fan of Porygon 2, uh, just because of how it looks. It takes all of the, <laughs> all of the Porygon-ness out of Porygon and makes it Porygon 2. Eh, I'm not buying it, um. And why call it Porygon? Why not call it something else? Like, uh, um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Ballagon. Ballagon. Or, um, uh, Flatagon? I don't know. Um, or, sh- uh, I don't know. Roundagon. There we go. Roundagon would be cool. But why call it po- like Porygon too? It's not even a Porygon anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, that's for that reason. I'm definitely gonna put it in below average. Um, and also, it's a bitch to try and you know, like I said, catch a Porygon even and evolve it into Porygon too. It's uh, it's pretty a pretty big hassle in the games. Um, Stantler. Fuck deer, man. I live. I live in an area where there's so many fucking deer that they're just literally crossing the fucking road every single season of every single fucking year until, like, winter hits. We get, like, a like a three-month break of deer running across the fucking road. I just saw one today, and it's fucking December. What the hell, guys? What the hell? Stantler, fuck deer. I, 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 don't, I, I don't like deer. I, I want nothing to do with it. Um, Smeargle. Yeah, just a shitty knockoff version of Farfetch'd. Um, not, uh, I mean, I like art, but, uh, Smeargle is kind of, I don't know, dumb looking. So I'll put it in below average. Definitely not useless, because I know Smeargle is, like, one of those Pokemon that it's, like, it's hard to catch. So, yeah, Smeargle is going to go in below average. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, I feel confident putting it in below average. I don't even know what it looks like either. It kind of looks like a it looks like a lemur or like a like a lemur slash or like a monkey slash lemur slash dog. I don't even know what it's supposed to be, and I I, I don't get it. So um, let's move on. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the pre-evolution of Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Now you guys know how much I love fighting types. Uh, or by now at least um i'm a big fan of fighting types and tyrogue is the coolest um the coolest pre-evolution of pokemon ever made i just think that tyrogue looks so fucking badass he's just like a simple karate dude and then you know just like a little kid trying to learn karate for the first time he looks so cool um he looks like uh um, he looks like, uh, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Like, he just has that stature, you know? So, yeah, Tyrogue, definitely one of my favorites, um, in Gen 2. Uh, Hitmontop, also awesome. Um, Hitmontop is, uh, its form of karate is Capoeira, which I'm a big fan of Capoeira. I love Eddie Gordo and Tekken, therefore I love Hitmontop. Um, Hitmonlee is all about kicks like Bruce Lee. Hitmonchan is all about punches like Jackie Chan. And Hitmontop is like Eddie Gordo. <laughs> you can't you can't beat that. So yeah, let's move on. Smoochum. Yeah, you guys already know how I feel about Jinx. I told you guys how I felt about the Pokemon, the way it looks and whatever. And Smoochum, I, I I just don't I don't like the way this thing looks either. It just looks creepy, like really fucking creepy. Like uh, if if I had a porcelain doll of that thing in my house, I would smash it to pieces. That's how I feel about Smoochum. Fuck Smoochum. Um, okay, now we go to two more baby, baby Pokemon, um, Ellie Kid, which I think is cool looking, I'm gonna put him in, um, I'm gonna put him in my favorite tier, just cause I like, I love the look of Electabuzz, and it looks like a smaller version of Electabuzz, so, fuck it, why not, and, uh, Magby, I don't really like the way Magby looks, um, I'm gonna put it in the good tier, uh, just cause it looks kind of, kind of dumb, and I mean, Magmar looks fucking badass, why can't Magmi look, Magby look like a little more volcanic, you know, I don't know, not a big fan of Magby, but Ellie Kid is awesome, um, I never personally caught either one of these, um, in Pokemon Gold, cause they're, they're kind of rare to come across, but yeah, yeah, Ellie Kid, Magby, you know, um, Ellie Kid is in my S favorite tier, and Magby is in my A tier, good. So yeah, let's move on to Miltank. Dude, I love Miltank, man. And the reason why I love Miltank is because of the reason why people hate Miltank. Um, Miltank is just this tanky fucking defense up the ass Pokemon. Um, and one of the trainers in Pokemon Gold and Silver, I think, has a Miltank. And that thing is fucking hard as hell to try and beat. That, that Miltank is beyond savage like it will kill your entire party of pokemon and fuck you up the asshole and fucking you know just completely destroy your asshole and then you come back to the fight after whiting out going to the pokemon center to heal your pokemon just for fucking miltank to do it all over again it is uh miltank's a bastard but that's why i love i love miltank and catching one is so fucking hard so fucking hard so yeah miltank Definitely a big fan of that Pokemon. And also, Miltank is fucking badass in um, uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Like, definitely, definitely badass. He's part of my main my main six in that game. Um, right now, I'm still in the process of beating the fucking game. I still haven't beaten the game. Um, all I have to do now is uh, I have to go to Mount Battle and uh, battle 100 trainers. Yeah, that's going to be a chore. But, uh... And also, with the party that I have, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off, but we'll see. It's going to be a hassle. I do want to unlock Ho-Ho, though. Ho-Ho uh, needs to be unlocked. So, yeah. Miltank, in favorite tier, for a good reason. Um, Blissey. So, I said that I like Chansey, um, but I'm not a big fan of Blissey. I don't like the way it looks. Um, it, it turns an, other, an, other, otherwise cl an otherwise classic Pokemon into just something that I would never, ever, ever want as a Pokemon. Um, so, uh, in real life, if Pokemon were real, I would not want Blissey. Um, so, I'm going to put Blissey in the below average tier. 
Um, just because, like, Chansey is classic, you know? Um, and uh, I think Blissey replaces Chansey in the, uh, in the anime um, after Gen 2. So, yeah, not a big fan. I like Chansey better. So, we get to move on to the legendary dogs. Now, these are some of my favorite Pokemon ever. Um, like, like, at least two of them are top 10 for sure. Like, top 10 fucking material for sure. Um, uh, we got Raikou, uh, uh, um, Entei, and Suicune. Now, Raikou, or Raikou, um, Raikou is gonna be in favorite tier for sure because it just looks like thunder, like straight up like a Thundercat, something from fucking He-Man. Like, uh, I, 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 I'm a big fan of this Pokemon. Um, Entei, dude, probably one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. This Pokemon looks so fucking badass, and it's like, hold on, um, let me, uh, lower this a little bit. Yeah, dude, like, Entei just looks so fucking cool. Like, just majestic looking, like, it looks like a solid fucking dog. Like, if you saw this dog on the street, and it looked like that, like, you're fucked. That's it. And it's also a fire-type Pokemon, which, obviously, you guys know that I get a little bit of a chub for fire-type Pokemon. So, sorry, but, uh, I, I love Entei. And, uh, I'm, and I'm, I guarantee most of you would agree that Entei is just the most coolest-looking Pokemon ever made. One of, one of the most coolest Pokemon ever made. Not my favorite but definitely top 10 for sure. Um, and Suicune. Oh my god. Suicune looks so fucking cool. Um, it just looks like a majestic water dog. It really does. Like, like all three of these dogs look just amazing. Just like the first generation um, with the birds. Like, these are dogs. But they, they look um, on par with the original birds. The original legendary um legendaries so yeah i mean just three gorgeous looking pokemon right here um yeah so yeah i'm done talking about them so now it's time for larvitar uh i don't like the way larvitar looks um actually larvitar looks all right i'm gonna put a larvitar on average pupitar on the other hand can go sit in the useless tier because i don't like the way the thing looks at all um, and it's just like, how do you get Larvitar f and turn it into Pupitar? Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not Kakuna. It's Lar, it's fucking Larvitar. Like, it's a dragon. You know what I mean? You should take dragons a little bit more seriously, Game Freak. Come on, man. But yeah, Larvitar gets averaged here just because I like the way it looks. Um, it has a pointy head. It looks like it could fuck somebody up. Um, Pupitar, on the other hand, it looks like it's just stationary and would fall down any single time it got up. So, yeah, doesn't even have any legs. Fuck this thing. But then Tyranitar. Dude, Tyranitar is going in my favorite tier. Because Tyranitar looks like a fucking badass-looking dragon dinosaur beast that's just gonna fucking... His reign will last for a thousand years. Like, just a total, totally badass Pokemon. And I'm a big fan of Tyranitar. Um, and trying to get him is a bitch, um, but when you finally get him in, um, uh, in Pokemon Coliseum, dude, he, f he slaps as a fucking Pokemon, he's, dude, he, he fucking, he wrecks shit up, like, nobody's business, um, it's hard to level him up, because his, you know, it, it's just hard, but, um, once you get him to a high level, like, he, he can do some fucking damage, um, so yeah, Tyranitar, Larvitar, Pupitar, and we got three more po Pokemon to talk about. Um, and honestly, three of people's favorites. I know people that love these three Pokemon till the day that they die. One in specific that I know everybody fucking loves. And that is Lugia. And Lugia is definitely going to get a favorite tier from me. Because Lugia is the most, probably one of the most majestic looking um, Pokemon ever made. Like, he just looks so cool. Um... And I remember, as a kid, finally getting a Lugia card after a long fucking time, um, and just, like, staring at it. And just, like, it was my prized possession for so long. So, yeah, Lugia definitely gets a favorite tier for me, for sure. And my memories are endless with Lugia. I mean, just a really, really 
nice looking beautiful 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 bird pokemon and just like a beautiful pokemon in general it looks like it's made out of solid ice and just fucking and like god's tears like that's what this fucking pokemon looks like i'm just dude it, this this pokemon's badass uh, moving on to Ho Ho. Now, yeah, this Pokemon's a little bit of a bitch to unlock in um, in Pokemon Coliseum. Um, do I like the way he looks? Uh, yes. Do I like him as a legendary bird? Not really. I feel like the original three um, are on par with Lugia, but I don't feel like Ho Ho um, is in the same conversation piece. I really don't. So I'm going to put Ho-Ho, maybe um, controversial, but I'm going to put him in the good tier. Um, just because, like, uh, I don't really have fond memories with Ho-Ho. Um, even though I did play gold version instead of silver version, and Lugia is part of the silver version, um, I actually got Lugia as a card, and I didn't get Ho-Ho as a card. Um, so, yeah, that impacts my decision on that just a little bit on, on Ho-Ho, where I stand with him. Um but yeah, I mean, he, he looks cool, he looks festive and whatever, but a lot of Pokemon after this and before this look festive too, like Zapdos, I mean, I talked I talked about him in the in a, in a Generation 1 tier list, but he just looks like so majestic with like the lightning coming out of his, you know, it's like fucking, you know, God sending fucking lightning down, hitting a bird, and that's how you make a Zapdos, you know, it's just crazy. Um, but ho just looks kind of just like a regular bird, you know, kind of like a, a really, really powerful Fero in a way. And I, I'm sorry if I insulted people by saying that, my bad. But, uh, yeah, um, not a big fan of ho Uh, let's move on to Celebi. Now, I know that everybody, um, or not everybody, but a lot of people love Celebi. Um, the movie with Celebi in it was really, really awesome, but... I don't like Celebi as a Pokemon, but for you guys, and for, this is the, probably one of the only times I'll do this, um, because I like the movie and everything, um, I'm going to put Celebi in the average tier, or the, no, I'll put him, I'll put, Ce I'll be generous, I'll put Celebi in the good tier, um, just because, like, the movie was so good, um, it was, it wasn't quite, uh, on par with, uh, Pokemon 2000, which everybody knows is the best Pokemon movie flat out hands down um but the Celebi movie was pretty awesome too um and it had some really cool majestic moments and whatever so yeah so Celebi is in the good tier and uh these these six don't, don't even worry about them they're uh they're mega evolutions I'm probably not going to do a tier list of mega evolutions just because I don't want to um I don't really think that mega mega evolutions should have been a thing I'm kind of against it um but um, that's because I'm also old school, and, you know, I'm old school Pokemon all the way. Um, but, yeah, so Celebi in good tier. Um, so, yeah, that's my tier list, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, if you would like to uh, subscribe to the channel, definitely feel free. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it would be a pleasure if you did. Um, definitely slap a like and dislike on this video if you don't subscribe. Um, and also, uh, share this video with your friends if they like Pokemon and, you know, if they, uh, like, especially if they like a certain Pokemon that I put in the favorites tier list. Um, actually, oh, wait, no, 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 I forgot. Okay. I'm not going to end the video yet. Um, but I'm going to, wh what I like to do after tier lists is I like to rearrange every Pokemon, um, and every tier from least to best in that tier. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it with the D tier, C tier, B tier, A tier, and then eventually S tier. So you guys can know what my favorite Pokemon is in this generation and what my least favorite Pokemon is in the generation. And all the ones in between that I'm kind of like meh about. So, okay. So, uh, Pupitar has to go up here because I'm doing that first. Um, Smoochum is going to go behind Pup Pupitar just because I'm not a big fan of Smoochum or Jinx. I don't feel like they're... They're, they're just, like, not good Pokemon, in my opinion. And I don't really like uh, how they look. Um, they just look kind of, I don't know, fucked up to me. Um, Stantler, yeah, fuck deer. I'm going to put him in the middle, uh, in between Pupitar and whatever. Um, Mantine, I'm going to put him up above Pupitar, just because Mantine can surf, and he does have his purposes. Um, Remoraid, yeah, 
Not a big fan of Remoraid. I'm going to put him right in front of Smoochum. Just because, like, what he evolves into is so dumb. And Remoraid is just a dumb-looking Pokemon in general. Um, Quillfish. Yeah. Totally, completely useless Pokemon. Can go right in front of Smooch uh, Smoochum. Um, Dunsparce. I'll put him above Remoraid. Just because, like, when you do get it, at least you have the shock value of, like, what the fuck is this thing? Um, Unknown. God. I don't even know where the fuck to put this thing. If there was this, uh, it, like... If there was a t if if I can make a, a tier called pointless, I totally would. This Pokemon is pointless. What does it really do? It has hidden power. Who cares? Um, yeah, I'm not a not a big fan of unknown. Um, I'm gonna put him right in front of Smoochum. Yeah, all those unknowns can suck a butt. Um, Murkrow. I guess I'll because he is a crow, even though he's a fucked up looking crow. I'm gonna put him top of D tier. For right now, at least. Um, Skip Plume. Uh, I'll give Skip Plume a little bit of a benefit of the, benefit of the doubt, even though it's just like kind of like one of the shittiest looking Pokemon ever. But at least he's a second evolved form, so at least he's a little bit stronger. Um, Hopip, I'll put him behind Skip Plume. Um, Blossom, yeah, that's an insult to fucking Oddish, man. I, I'm a big Oddish fan, so yeah. Uh, in front of Unknown. Um, Flaffy. Yeah, I don't like the look of Flaffy. I'll put him uh, in front of Quillfish. Um, <laughs> Cleffa. Good old Cleffa. Um, Cliffa, the big red pink asshole. The little tiny pink asshole. Um, yeah, that seems like a fair place to put him. Um, in front of Unknown. Spinarak. I fucking hate these things, man. This Pokemon is, like, the bane of my existence right here. Um, I'm going to put... But, then again, I, I I like a lot a lot of Pokemon on this list. A lot less. So, I'm going to put Spinarak um, in front of Dunsparce. Uh, and Ladyba behind Spinarak. Seems fair. Um, Sentrant. Uh, I'm going to put... I'm going to put a, right above Pupitar. Um, it is kind of cute. Centrin is regrettably a little bit cute, so whatever. Um, Meganium, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Meganium at all. Uh, he's just a really shitty third evolution, and kind of ki uh, kind of a kick in the teeth to like people who chose Chikorita, like that cute little Pokemon, and then it turns into this thing. It's like I don't know, very underwhelming for sure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it right under Flaffy. Because that's like that's like the worst evolution that you could possibly want in the history of life. Um, especially a third evolution, nonetheless. Like, that's just crazy. Um, Alright, so D tier. Smoochum is last. Um, second to last, unknown. Then Cleefa, then Blossom, then Quillfish, blah, 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 blah. Murkrow is top of D tier. Um, let's move on to C tier. So... I'm going to put uh, Blissey up on top because I have to. Um, Smeargle, I'm going to put in front of Blissey just because, uh, you know, I, I really like Chansey. I, I think Chansey is a cool Pokemon. I probably rated him a little bit low um, in Gen 1, but that's just because Gen 1 has such cool Pokemon. It's one of my favorite generations um, besides Gen 5. So, yeah. Um uh, Porygon 2, I'm going to put below Blissey. Um, Piloswine, again, how does this thing fight? It has hair over its eyes. Like, what the fuck? Um, I'm going to put it uh, above Blissey. Um, Swineub is going to go underneath Porygon. Um, Snubble is going to go um, behind Smeargle. Uh, Wooper goes... Um, underneath Swineub, actually, no, there we go, yeah, um, in between Pile of Swine and, uh, Blissey, um, Yanma, like I said, I'm not a big fan of, of this Pokemon at all, um, right above Swineub, um, Politoed, and I guess I could put Politoed up there, it's not a, not the worst third evolution in the world, <clears throat> Meganium, but uh, 
you know, uh, Politoed, oh, excuse me, I, uh, you know, did a little something there, um, but Politoed is, uh, I don't know, still shit, so, but he goes a little bit under Smeargle, um, Mareep, he evolves into a badass Pokemon, but Mareep is just, uh, I don't know, I, honestly, I, I'll put Mareep in the average tier, I'll do a little bit, a little redux, uh, Mareep goes in average tier, just because all these Pokemon definitely aren't on par with Mareep. Either he's top of C, or just in the B tier, and I think Mareep is going to be a D, like in the middle of B tier probably, so yeah, Mareep can go up there. Um, let's see, uh, Natu, yeah, this thing could never win in a fight, it's like the scrawniest little bird ever. Um, right in front of Yanma, uh, hmm. Jigglypuff. Yeah, not 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 a good first evolution of Jigglypuff, but I will put it above Natu. Um Chinchou. Um not the best Pokemon in the world. Uh like I said, but Chinchou is going to go uh above Snubble. Um Hoodoo. Hoot Hoot, however, it's a fun it's a fun Pokemon to even say the name of. Hoot Hoot. Um Hoot Hoot can go right behind Wooper. And then we got Bay uh Bayleaf. And Bayleaf Um can go. <laughs> I used to call him Beyblade actually when I was a kid. Whoops. Wrong genre. Um let's see. Bayleaf can go. Underneath Pile of Swine. There we go. That's my C tier. Smeargle on top. Swineub on the bottom. And everybody else in between. Um, let's see. Okay, B tier. This is the shortest one. Or one of the shortest ones. Um, Mareep obviously has to go up front right now. Larvitar is going to go behind Mareep. Um, Octillery going to go right in front of Mareep. Uh... Heracross goes behind Larvitar. Um, Gligar goes in front of Heracross. Pinaco um, will go in front of Gligar just because I love how rigid he looks, but definitely it's just a pine cone, man. Um, Sunkern. Sunkern can go the, like the least threatening Pokemon ever, ever, but really cute. So Sunkern can go underneath Heracross. And then uh, Azumarill can go um, right above Sunkern. Meryl can go above Azumarill just because Meryl's cute. Um, Togetic can go. Um, let's see, where is Togetic going to go? Um, Togetic can go. Uh, right above Gligar. Yeah, that's fair. Um, uh, Ampharados, or, uh, wait, uh, what, what the fuck is this thing called again? Spinarak and Ariados. There we go. Ariados, um, can go. Um, it's a pretty badass Pokemon, honestly. It's a pretty cool looking bug. Um, I'm going to put it right above Larvitar. Um, Ledian can go right underneath Heracross. Knocked Owl um, can go right above Ladyan. Um, and Chikorita can go... Actually, Chikorita's pretty cute. Um, Chikorita can go right below Mareep. So, yeah. That's uh, Octillery's first on B tier. Sunkern is last on B tier. Um, a tier. Let's see. Um, Celebi automatically goes on top right now. Um, Ho Ho is going to go below Celebi. Um, Magby is going to go um, above Ho Ho. Because, like, I don't know. Ho Ho just looks like a bird to me. Just a bird. Doesn't even really look like a firebird. Moltres looks like a fucking firebird. That thing, it has flames coming out of it. Like, obviously, it's a firebird. Um, <laughs> I'm driving a firebird. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Yeah. Um, ho ho. Yeah, under underneath Magby, because at least Magby's somewhat cute. Uh, Fampy. Um, let's see. Fampy is gonna go above Ho Ho. Um, Kingdra looks badass, and it's a dragon, so it's gonna go up there. It's gonna go right below Celebi. Um, uh, Houndour will go underneath Ho Ho. Um, Teddy Ursa is so adorable. Um, it's gonna go above Fampy. And above Magby, too. Um, actually, Fampy should go above Magby as well. So, yeah. Um, Sneasel. Just a badass, ferocious cat. Um, and Weavile looks pretty cool. I'll talk about that um, in the next gen. In the next uh, next video of this series. Um, but Sneasel can go to... Eh, above Kingdra. There we go. Um, Shuckle, one of my favorite Pokemon in this generation, um, but not in the favorite category, um, goes underneath Celebi. Scizor can go, hmm, right above Sneasel, just because Scizor is kind of badass looking, um, just not as badass as Scyther, and I can't even put him in the favorite category just because I would rather have Scyther, you know what I mean? Are you following me? Catching my drift a little bit? I don't know. Um, Granbull can go. Um, actually, I'll put Ho-Ho above Magby. Just because, yeah, like I said, first of evolution of, uh, you know, first of all form baby Pokemon of Magby, not a big fan of. Um, Granbull can go actually above Houndour just because Gramble is just more of a badass looking dog. I'm sorry, but he, he, he looks like a fucking pit bull. Like he'll eat your fucking face and your dick off at the same time. And how is that possible? I don't fucking know. Um, Fortress can go, um, uh, solid defense wise. He's great and everything, but look wise, not so much. So underneath Houndour, um, Mistrevis. Yeah. It's a ghost type Pokemon. Um, has to go high. So I'm going to put him right under, eh, right above Kingdra. Um, Slowking can go, um, right underneath Ho-Ho. Um, Sunflora. I've had a lot of fun, fond mem memories with Sunflora. Um, I liked, I liked, uh, actually having him as a Pokemon in Pokemon Coliseum. So, because of that, I'm going to put uh, Sunflora um, right above Teddy Orisa. Because also, Sunflora is a cute Pokemon. Um, let's see. Apom. Just an interesting looking Pokemon. Really interesting. They made they made uh, <laughs> Apom look really ferocious in Detective Pikachu. Um, which is a great movie, by the way. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely, definitely get it. Buy it definitely buy it. It's a must buy. Um, you don't even rent it. Just get it. Just buy it. Um, Apom can go above Sneasel. Why not? Um, let's see. Uh, Jumpluff. Yeah. This is probably going to be on the bottom of A tier or eh, above Fortress just because Fortress doesn't really look all that badass. Um, uh, okay. Exatu is going to go all the way up there, right behind Shuckle, just because, like, dude, just a really cool depiction of Native American um, culture, um, and just looks fucking, fucking majestic looking, like, this bird looks badass. Um, Pichu, eh, a little bit underwhelming as, uh, a, you know, a pre-evolution of Pikachu, but nevertheless, Pichu's really cute, so gotta put it at least, um... I don't know. Above Apom. Why not? Um, okay. Uh, Lantern can go right under Celebi, just because Lantern, like I said, he's an, a, a fucking anomaly. Like, like a, a water and lightning type. Like, that's fucking badass. Um, uh, Crobat. Eh, I'm not going to put Crobat that high. I'll put Crobat... Right above Slowking. And then Furret 
Uh, I, I do love, I would love to have a pet ferret one day, but they smell. That's the thing, though. Even if you get the stink glands removed, they, they kind of smell a little bit. Um, but I like ferrets, though. They're cute. They're cute little animals. Um, I'm going to put ferret right underneath, um, right underneath, uh, right above Hound Hour, actually. Um, Croganaw. Even though I don't like the look of Croganaw, he's going to be pretty up there just because I love Totodile. And Croganaw is one step closer to Feraligator, so whatever. Um, Croganaw is going to go above Kingdra. Um, and, uh, let's see, Quilava is going to go... Um, hmm. Where am I going to put you, Quilava? I'm going to put you right underneath uh right above hound hour um just because i'd rather have a quilava instead of a, ha a hound hour but uh, uh the, in looks department wise not not the best looking second uh form of uh, a starter um second evolution of a starter so uh all right now it's to the big the big moment right here the uh the s tier pokemon and um I'm going to start off with Lugia. Definitely going to be up there for a while, that's for sure. Tyranitar goes underneath Lugia. Um, Suicune goes above Tyranitar. Entei goes above Suicune. Um, Raikou goes underneath Tyranitar, but it's definitely not last, that's for sure. Um, last but not least, definitely. Um, let's see. Uh, Miltank. Yeah, I have a lot of fond memories with Miltank. I'm going to put Miltank right above Suicune. Um, just because Entei is one of my favorite Pokemon, and so is Lugia. Definitely top 10 for sure. Uh, Ellie Kid, I'm going to put underneath uh, Raikou. Um, Hitmon Top, I'm going to put above Raikou. Uh, Tyrogue, put right underneath uh, Hitmon Top. Um, Let's see, Don Fan. I'm gonna put underneath Ellie Kid. Um, Houndoom, probably one of the coolest looking fucking Pokemon, like I said, ever made. Um, is gonna go right underneath Tyranitar, just because Tyranitar looks a tad bit cooler. Um, and I would rather have a Tyranitar than a Houndoom. Um, okay, Skarmory is gonna go right underneath Tyrogue. Actually, right underneath Raikou. Um, Delibird. Yeah, I love Santa Claus, but uh, not the best-looking Pokemon, I guess. Um, Corsola is going to go underneath Delibird. Uh, Mass Cargo is going to be up there, because I love Mass Cargo. He's going to go up above Houndoom, for sure. Uh, Slugma is going to be down a little bit. Um, right underneath Ellie, uh, Ellie Kid. Ursaring. Let's see. Ursaring is going to go up there. I love the way Ursaring looks, guys. I really do. Um, he's just this tall, hulking bear that just looks like it's gonna fuck you up. Um, Ursaring is going to go underneath Raikou. Um, Steelix. Damn, Steelix is... He's gotta be up there. Steelix is fire, baby. Steelix is, like, no joke, a hardcore-ass Pokemon. He's gonna go right underneath Miltank. Um, Girafferig with that... With that tail mouth though um let's see giraffe rig can go over here um giraffe rig is gonna go right above don fan and then uh wabafet wabafet is such a like i said such a comedic pokemon i love wabafet um wabafet is gonna go uh, up above Raikou, just because, like, Raikou is my least favorite of the Legendary Dogs. It doesn't mean it's my least favorite Pokemon at all. Don't get it twisted. But, um, just Wobbuffet gave me a lot of, a lot more memories, I guess, because of the anime and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, Umbreon, or Umbrarion, or whatever people, however people want to say it. I, I call him Umbrarion, but, uh, it might be Umbreon. Um, I'm gonna put him a lot lower than Espeon. But I'm going to put him above Slugma. Um, just because he's not my favorite out of the two. Um, but uh, Umbrarion is... 
just a good looking Pokemon. Just a cool looking Pokemon. Espeon. Oh man. Espeon is gonna go right under Entei. Just cause like I really I really like Lugia. I I, I thought Lugia was just like the coolest looking Pokemon back then. Um and it was just like an exciting shock to open up a pack of Pokemon cards and to get a Lugia. I don't even know I don't even under I don't even I don't even think I can comprehend how fucking rare that was back then at the time. Um, Quagsire, I loved him in the games, but uh, other than that, um, yeah, I'm going to put him underneath Corsola. Uh, Pseudowoodo is just a, a cute, cool-looking lo Pokemon. I'm going to put him above Donphan. Um, Amph Ampharados, or Ampharos. Um, hmm. By the way, if you guys are, are bothered by the way I pronounce these Pokemon's names, I'm sorry. I just, you know, it's out of habit. It's, uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. That's fine. Um, Ampharos can go uh, above Ellie Kid for sure. Actually, so can Umbreon or Umbreon or whatever. Um, actually, I'm going to put Skarmory above Ursaring and Ampharos above Ursaring and... Umbrarion above Ursaring. Togepi is going to be a little bit less than Wobbuffet because Togepi definitely has a big place in my heart because of the anime. Um, <clears throat> for Raligator, oof. This Pokemon just looks badass. Um, I'm going to put him right underneath Steelix. Totodile, um, right under... Uh, Right above Skarmory, just because, like, I, I love I love Totodile. He's so cool looking. Um, and then Typhlosion is going to go... Um, Typhlosion is going to go... A little bit low. Just because I don't really... I'm not the biggest fan of Typhlosion and Cyndaquil, but... I do like fire types. But I'm not a big fan of the look of them. A Cyndaquil is a little bit higher just because he looks adorable. Typhlosion, however, um, looks badass, but not as bad as, as Ursaring. So he goes underneath Ursaring. And then Cyndaquil is going to go um, right underneath Delibird because Santa Claus is a little bit better. So yeah, um, like I said, guys, that's my tier list. Uh, my favorite Pokemon of... Gen 2 is Lugia, um, then Entei, Espeon, um, Miltank, Steelix, Feraligatr, Suicune, uh, Tyranitar, um, Mass Cargo, Houndoom, Hitmontop, Tyrogue, Wobbuffet, Togetic, uh, Ry uh, Raikou, um, uh, Totodile, Skarmory, uh, Ampharo or Ampharados, um, or Ampharos, however you want to say it, um, Umbreon, Umbreon, however you want to say it. Um, Ursaring, Tyran uh, Typhlosion, I mean. Um, Ellie Kid, Slugma. Um, uh, Girafferig, uh, Pseudo Wudo. Um, Donphan, Delibird. Cyndaquil, Corsola, and Quagsire. Those are my top how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 6, my top 30 Pokemon in S tier. Obviously, Lugia is the best. But uh, let me know. Let me know your thoughts um, down in the comments. Did you did you agree with my list? Did you not agree with my list? Do you hate me? Uh, do you love the list? Um, do you think I go in depth of how I feel about these Pokemon? I don't judge them on tournament based stuff. I judge them on my own personal opinion. So, like I said, if you have any thoughts or or whatever, um, definitely don't judge my opinion. But I would love to hear your opinion. Um, I'm very open to that stuff. I'm very, very open to everybody else's opinion. I'm not like that asshole YouTuber that's going to, you know, be like, oh, no, your opinion's wrong. Fuck off. Yeah. Comment deleted. No, I'm not like that. Um, but, yeah, if you agreed with what I said, let me know. If you didn't, you know, and you like another Pokemon um, in Gen 2 better, also let me know. Um, and uh, also, if you guys uh, want to subscribe to the channel, I was going to do this earlier, but I... I forgot about this part that I usually do. Um, if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, definitely feel free. Um, you know, you don't have to. Like I said, I never pressure anybody to subscribe. But if you like the content, definitely, you know, try and uh, help the channel out. That would that would be awesome and amazing of you to do. 
Um, also, definitely please drop a drop a like or a dislike on this video if you disagreed, or um, or a like if you uh, agreed, and you know you like the content. Um, that would be most amazing of you. I would really appreciate that. Also, definitely share this with your friends if they like Pokemon, and you know, especially if uh, especially if I put um, their Pokemon at the top of the list or in S tier or whatever, then uh, you know, have them stop in and and come by and judge the channel for itself. Um, and also, um, if you guys want to uh, hit, well, actually, you guys really should hit that notify bell because it definitely uh, gives you insight on when I'm when I'm uh, going live, um, doing live streams or releasing a video like this one. Um, and if you guys want more of this, and you guys want me to, uh, you know, beat the fuck out of uh, X and Y, um, or and Sun and Moon, and uh, you know, um, I don't have a, I don't have a, uh, uh, what's it called? I don't have a Switch, so I can't play uh, Sword and Shield. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to see me beat the fuck out of those games and whatever, and uh, you know, um, judge the, or not judge, but I'll uh, uh, tier list those Pokemon. Definitely feel free. Let me know. Um, I'm definitely going to stop at Gen 5 for a while, but, uh, yeah, so, I love you all, um, be safe out there, um, and, uh, you gotta catch them all, guys, so, uh, like I said, be safe, I love you guys, and, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, I really, really appreciate it, I really, really do from the bottom of my heart, and, uh, I wish, uh, uh, I, I hope that you guys had a happy holiday, and that uh, you had a lot of fun and just, you know, got tons of presents and had just good memories with your family. Because that, that's what means the most in this world. It's not, you know, going out to concerts or, you know, even had a, ha having a dinner at a restaurant or getting fucked up at the bar. It's about family. And I think that's what COVID taught me um, the most about family is that, yeah, family can be, sh they, they can be shitheads sometimes. But <clears throat> you got to love them. I mean, you don't have to, but... It's a it's a good thing to love your family. So uh so like I said, take care guys, stay safe. And uh I'll be back with uh Gen 3 in about 2 or 3 weeks. Um cuz I said that I wasn't going to uh I wasn't going to release um Gen 2 uh for 2 weeks, but you know, I uh I bumped it up a week um just cuz I really wanted to do it <clears throat> and I didn't do anything on Christmas Eve or Christmas uh day. So yeah. So thank you guys. I love you guys. Be safe. Mwah. Peace out, guys.